Hi, it's Mind Crypto here. I hope we're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Remember, this isn't financial advice. Always do your own research. Mind Crypto here, and today we're talking about quant. And first and foremost, we go through the crypto bubbles. We are currently at rank 40, market cap of 1.25 billion. We are currently sitting back at that 103 dollar mark and 24 hour volume of 13.49 million we are down 0.2 in the hour down 2.6 in a day up 0.5 percent in the week and down 5.7 in the month now it looks like we're just going sideways we capitulated a little bit back to old support levels around 100 mark i'm not bothered if you're a long-term holder you shouldn't really blink an eye at this this is just the way it is sideways up a bit down a bit <laughs> remember the bigger picture is the long term game anyhow so i saw this lovely tweet from tokenizer blockchain communications and ordering patent proved by us patent and trademark office reminder that this patent will have quant also set a universal time standard for blockchain so we now have japan yesterday or the day before now we have the us we're just waiting on china and the wipo this is basically closing the parameters for other people um, trying to compete with quant which i think is absolutely amazing so it just basically puts them ahead of the game when it comes to this type of digital technology which is absolutely amazing and i'm sure there's more to come as my video said yesterday more to come i wasn't lying <laughs> so uh Again, just going back to this, I wonder if they did ever have that chat, that Elon Musk and Gilbert Verdian. Now, this was back, rightly so, back in 2019, but a more recent video, which I have put out before, but I think it just brings things together slowly, and it looks like they probably have had that conversation by the sounds of it. So as you can see here, trends for 2023, ultimately, we're entering a hyper-connected world, says Gilbert Verdian. And you heard it here first one example of that trend is that elon musk twitter will become a payment system let's have a little listen here very good question um i think i think where we're heading is um uh, a new way where society can interconnect because we're as, as humans we're very social and it's all about our networks and connections with, with people and i think that can be very easily overlaid into new types of transactions or financial services that leverage that network connectivity, the human, the human side. So I think where we're seeing um, things evolving is that, that mass explosion of new types of uh, digital assets, new types of money, and the new types of human to human transactions or business to business transactions. If you look at what's happening, I mean, just an example with Twitter, my view is that that's going to be a payment system. It, you know, it's it's undergoing a lot of turmoil right now, and you know we all know why. And um, but I I think that's kind of the, the start of a new human to human ways to do payments using an existing platform like like Twitter. So having that connected to bank systems, to central digital central bank digital currency systems, peer to peer systems, we're going to have a, a new type of world. It, it, it's very hyper connected. Um, so I think twenty three is the start of that. Yes, a hyper-connected future. So there you go, guys. Does he know more than he's letting on? Because that language, a future payment system, peer-to-peer, -peer, is all the same language that Elon Musk is using at the same time. It certainly gets me excited. So just looking here at um, Owen Personal Neo um, and 140,000 quant holders. It's holding up well in the bear market. And when bull market comes, the gloves are off. Amazing news keeps dropping. We've got the BIS, the Bank of England, and patent approved. If you research this next level tech, then you know, feel secure and keep stacking. It does to me look absolutely amazing. We are building holders. The only way is up, as I can see it. Absolutely amazing. 10FT. 
I get TA, but quant is different. Once its enterprise use cases kick in, it will skyrocket. No one can use charts to predict that time. It will be out of the trader's hands. And I completely agree. There's a lot of people sitting there going through their trade analysis, looking at the charts. But this is going to be a different bull run, I believe, personally. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Always do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. But I believe this bull run is going to be a completely different bull run because, you know, many people are going to be looking to sell out their bags in 2025. Fair enough. That's up to you. But with institutions starting to jump on board as they're slowly lining themselves up, could we see the price just increase over the years to come up until 2030 and beyond? So, you know, it is one of those things. It's not, you know, a short term gain. Is this a long term gain for you? So post that in the comments. Tell me what you're thinking. Are you going to hold your quant for the foreseeable beyond 2030 or just going to get rid of it in 2025? I'd love to know. Me personally, I think I'm going to hold the majority, probably 80, 90 percent of my quant um, uh, way beyond 2030 because I believe this is only going to increase. But that's my personal opinion. Also, please remember to subscribe. There's so many people listening to these videos that aren't subscribed and you'd be doing me a massive, massive favor. Just hit that subscribe button. All the best, and I will catch you later. Remember, this isn't financial advice. Always do your own research.